come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang No run for the fair, the knock your bitch back Step up! These are the moments oh. When everybody gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense no matter what These are the moments When every gangsta gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense after I was turned down for my green card the second time, the immigration office requested further documents from my affidavit of support provider for tangible reassurances. Her younger sister provided support for me. The immigration officer said they wanted more retroactive tax documents plus some more stuff which I can't recall currently. Remember, I never asked her for support in the first place. My wife did. Not that I wasn't appreciative. I'm just laying out all my cards on the truth table. My wife Jenny sold her sister a pipe dream of my impending fortune in my lawsuit and dragged her kicking and screaming in her dragnet of deceit. Her sister named Dawn, not a real name, had a wonderful personality and was very jovial, funny and kind. So was her elder son who was very very respectful to me. He and his mom were different from my wife and her kids. Even my wife's older sister Mags was super cool and I got along with her and all her kids greatly as well. None of her sister's kids had ever been mean or disrespectful to me and I grew very very fond of them. Her younger sister Dawn though went through a very tumultuous time with her relationship with her first son's dad. He was a punk for disrespecting her by being unfaithful. She was a true wife material. She was dark skinned and very very pretty and come to think of it all of them are pretty but what laid beneath my wife's epidermis were imaginable layers on top of layers of toxicity with a sprinkle of deceptive charms that she would use to snag the unsuspecting. So after the immigration office sent for my docs I got the letter and my stomach almost jumped out of my chest. I almost had an anxiety attack. I held on to it for days in morbid fear of going to them for assistance. I knew the formidable opponent I was up against. All I could remember was the countless times I approached her to sign, not fill out, just a simple signature and it would raise the living hell and send her into a raging fit as if Gabriel was provoking the devil and she would blame me for the crime. I was careful when and how to approach her. I was always on pins and needles, carefully to avoid stepping on the crunchy dried up leaves to alert the enemy as if I was on the battlefield in Vietnam. And I'm not exaggerating. It would have to include absolute stealth and precise precision. Oh, I dreaded those encounters and my heart would beat profusely and accelerated every inch I stepped closer to her labyrinth of hostilities. But I, I had a deadline to meet with the return docks. The hourglass was overturned. Time was ticking. Tick tock. Tick. I knew I had to man up, but after so many dejection and embarrassment, I laid low. It was only in unavoidable circumstances I would breach her perimeter, fearfully with my request. One day, I had slowly slipped into four, and I was now out of time. It was now, or never. One evening around the dinner table, where all of us was dining, I bided my time cautiously till I decided right after dinner, when everyone had had their belly full, bursting in laughter and whatsoever, filled with one of grandma's finest stew turkey and jasmine rice. Oh, I should love them some turkey and jasmine rice. They will eat it every day. And on that day, mama had put her foot in it. That Thursday, everyone licked their ten fingers and searched for other fingers to lick. It was that good, but I was seeking something else that would appease my trembling palate. So I finally ballsed up after dinner and said as politely and submissive as possible. I said, hey babes, um, I almost forgot. I got this document from the immigration a couple of days ago saying they needed some more docs to substantiate my affidavit of support. What I did, I made sure I started cursing first. I don't know what is wrong with them, man. Chuck. If it's not one thing, is the other. I can't be bothered. Yo, if it was up to me alone, I would just... I just They just want more money and more money for doing this. But anyways, babe, you know, they say they want such and such docs from you guys and all that. And then, shh, silence. 
I gave them the floor and waited with abated breath for what seemed an eternity for their response. I was expecting some kind of negative condescending reply of sorts, but what came next? I was completely unprepared for. My wife was the first to respond with a repulsive hissy and mumbled some facetious remarks under a turkey breath and stumped off in disgust. My heart froze in the expecting hellfire on the horizon. And then came the real bombshell. This time, from the unexpected, her sister lid flew off the pot. Boop! I don't know if I caught her at a bad time or what, but she lit up and started shouting, Man, I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of this shit. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. You hear me? Yo, find someone else because I'm done. Her anger outburst only served to ignite another fuse that raced madly to the awaiting powder keg. My wife jumped in shouting, Yeah man, I'm tired of all your bullshit man. If it's not one fucking thing, it's the next fucking thing man. This shit is getting old fast man. Shh. Now, to feel the impact of what I've just divulged, you have to remember, it was them who asked me on several occasions to come down to Miami and get married. And I refused on several occasions because one, she was seeing someone else at that time. And two, she never had a job from as far as I can remember. And when she did manage to get one, she would get fired real quick or just said, fuck it, and just walked off the job. So I was quite leery and very hesitant at first. It was my mom who convinced me to go through with it. My mom said to me, son, listen to your mom. It's better you get married and have some papers in the system than to have nothing at all. Which one do you think is better? I would have to have even an A number that's if they hold you, at least you have something to show. Or they hold you and you don't have anything and you get deported. And then you have to wait 10 years to come back in their country. Which one do you think is better? Some things that are understood don't have to be said. She said, remember, it's a girl that you had a relationship with already and you can rekindle. And also, it's better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Am I lying? Tell me if mommy is lying. Mom would lie to you, my son, as you know, me have goat mouth already. Boy, my mom was being truthful as ever. She never steered me wrong. I call her an old witch. Oh, I love that woman to death, to the moon and back. Though even with all her coercive attempts, I still was reluctant to follow through. She still had leftovers on her plate which she needed to get rid of before I even began to consider her invitations. I finally conceded after she cleared her calendar of all things masculine. But I lived to see my mom's warning came to pass. I went on tour with Juno Flex and on the way back to Florida I stopped in Jacksonville to catch a connecting Greyhound to Carolina while waiting for the bus. Flex and some of the dancers hung out with me at that time while waiting on the bus. While we were there though, I could see through my peripherals that this one immigration officer dressed in brown uniform and a big green cowboy hat on was watching me like a hawk while he conversed with another local cop. So when I boarded the bus, I saw him boarded the bus as well. After I was seated, I knew he was after me and he confirmed my suspicions when he walked right up to me and said, Hey buddy, what's going on? I couldn't help overhearing you speaking at the ticket office and notice you have like a thick accent. Where are you from? Jamaica, I responded. Okay, Jamaica, hmm. I love me some Bob Marley, man. And some good old Buju Banton, he said while his palm rested cautiously on his holstered service pistol. So how'd you come to America? Don't they give you like a visa or something like that to travel with? I don't know, man. I'm just asking. Could you help me out here a bit? Some white people have a way of saying the most hurtful things to you in the most polite way possible. Try getting fired by a white supervisor, huh? Then you'll understand what I'm talking about. I had my bags in the undercarriage of the Greyhound bus. Fortunately, with my documents in there to show I'd recently gotten married about two weeks before. So, he continued hypocritically to speak on things Jamaican when I knew he didn't give a damn. Really. So I boldly said to him, and this is the God's honest truth, I said, Look sir, I know you're a busy man. 
so am I. So if you could just please excuse me, you know, let me go and retrieve my documents underneath the bus and I'll bring them to you and that would help you to speed the process up a tad bit more. He agreed and removed himself from the thoroughfare granting me free passage to worm my way to the exit. So I went and retrieved same and brought them back to him and he looked them over before handing them back to me and gave me the green light that I was good to go. But the Mexican who sat behind me wasn't as fortunate. He was going nowhere. Soon as the officer stepped to him, he immediately stood up with both arms extended in a handcuffed posture. He surrendered without incident. Papi Cholo stood with his arms outstretched saying, No pique ingle. The officer quickly slapped his handcuffs on him and led him away to the detention center, eagerly rushing home to boast on his day's conquest around his feasting dinner table, whilst another lay languishing in jail awaiting his inevitable faith, whilst the other thanked the Lord he had listened to his bewitched mother. On my journey thoughts to Carolina, I enjoyed the scenery, pondering, man, what if? That could have easily been me who was detained. I felt very sad for Papi. He was a middle-aged gentleman whose countenance exuded hard labor. But what is to be must be. I felt sorry for Papi, but glad it wasn't to me. I am joy. Papa, you know the real jetenga, huh? How we grow up, sometimes the road top side slow. <laughs> Real patriots never buck, never fall. Oh, yeah. How they get to run, that's why. Back from the boy, who don't do that? Who? Uh. Who no can kill with jail, who no boy? Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy? Yo, man. And a man bust a shot him off a pack up and foot Mind it on him head back and foot Pop off him strap on him friend him for door None of that guy <laughs> No assumption, I saw the ground rock yeah. Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, I see the said song One one head man will live long Name one, don't so ever be with na dan Name one, one good and his politician Name one, get a youth, resilient That's Back from the boy, I wanna do that. Boy, who no can tell me jai? Who no boy? Uh, who from your soul don't know what wrong boy? Yo, 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 a man better boy. Any man bust a shot, him off a shot, I'm off a back up and go. Bind it on him head back and go. Pop off him strap on him friend him for door. None of that, yo, a man better. Things risky, for the misfit. Death rate fit the logistic. Chris, Chris, ha, I want the biscuit. Eight tough crackers when we whisk it uh, You're not listening Crime live here so it's not visiting Visitors careful you know what the business is Murder, plunder, pillage in who? Bloodshed in all the villages You name it, you will live in it Get rich and do special delivery Nightmare Tormented images, vengeance Blood the cycle continuing But no you seek that but it's no revenge Looking at the mirror there is no different One we full of hey. How we know we trend Back from the boy who no do that Who? Uh. Who no can tell we jaw Who no poor? Uh. Who from your soul don't know who are and poor? Uh. Yup, now I'm on better uh. Any man bust no shot him off a back up and poor Mind it on him head back and poor uh. Pop off him strap on him friend him for door None of that yo I'm on better uh. No assumption, I saw the ground run uh. Power, marital corruption Criminal, red from limited options uh. Ten generation Passing the set song uh. One one ten man will live long Name one we so fall up with the only one One honest politician, only one who Then get to you to his alliance Fuck from the boy who not do that Who? Can't kill with child on the back Who? Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy Eh, uh, yo, yo a man better boy Any hey, man bust a shot him off a pack up and Who? Find it on him head back Come who? Pop off him strap on him friend Do it, eh uh, Who know not that you got Yo, you know the thing going on, suck a seat up a big thing, you know? Hey man, take your time, man. I'm poor, I'm poor, man. I'm to them purple, I'm poor.